Hello vlog, we're here. Corey, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Corey's eating a cigarette. He has an addiction. <laughs> Not clickbait. <laughs> I can't even see the sun. We are here. All right, that, that should clear it up. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to clear some things up because she's really annoying and also didn't do shit. So here we are again. For those following along my Urbex journey, you'll know me as future Texi. I am here because past Texi doesn't know anything. I know some things, not, not much but a few things, or at least a few more things about the Turo Shakespeare nursing home. <laughs> For those interested in the history of the property, that is my purpose. My notes are on this. I got a ring light to set y'all up on so you're not just propped up on my computer. So don't say I don't do shit for y'all. The original Toro almshouse was built with money left by the philanthropist Judah Toro, who died in 1854. This was the first almshouse for the city's elderly poor. And in addition to funding many other public New Orleans projects, he also left $80,000 in his will to build and operate the almshouse. Toro was born in Rhode Island on June 16, 1775, and he moved to New Orleans in October of 1801. He made his fortune through shipping and real estate, and the almshouse was his dying wish. First iteration of the almshouse was completed in 1862, built in the Bywater, and designed by William Frerit Jr. It was a three-story castle-like Gothic structure that the Union troops soon made their headquarters. Unfortunately, a fire in the makeshift army oven destroyed it in 1865, which was just three years after it was built. Now, for the Shakespeare part of the Toro Shakespeare home, that's who Toro was. Joseph Shakespeare was the mayor of New Orleans from 1880 to 1882 and 1888 to 1892. Joseph Shakespeare did not like gambling, but he couldn't technically outlaw it, so he instituted a gambling fee and the proceeds went to the new almshouse fund. So the Shakespeare almshouse was built at 5701 Daniel Street and was open for occupancy by 1883. In 1901, the funding from Judah Toro original almshouse was enveloped, so the whole thing was renamed the Toro Shakespeare Almshouse. In 1921, the city began considering relocating the almshouse because whenever they originally built it, it was in the country, and with more cars uptown, elderly residents were getting injured after wandering into traffic. So in 1927, the uptown site was subdivided into residences, and a 40-acre tract of land near the river in Algiers was purchased. So the land was purchased for $40,000, and the old building was torn down. The construction of the new Toro Shakespeare House started in 1932 at 2621 General Meyer Avenue. It costs $228,000 to build. This house is the one that we're actually exploring. We're up to date. Well, sort of, not quite, we're getting there. <laughs> this building was designed by William R. Burke and it combined elements of neoclassical revival and Jacobian revival styles. It was 60,000 square feet. Some of the more impressive features included the chapel with a 20 foot dome ceiling, which originally had 200 seats. Now there are no seats. Now there's not much of anything, as you will soon see. <laughs> it also has a 194 foot facade and could house approximately 175 residents. So construction was completed in 1933 and the first residents moved in in 1934. So over the years, upgrades were made consistently to the building. It remained at full occupancy for over 70 years, and it remained the city's only public nursing home until 1994, when a privately managed elderly care facility took over. August of 2005, as we all know, wasn't a great time for New Orleans, as you can tell by the good majority of the videos on my channel. So, Hurricane Katrina hits. There were 120 residents there who were all evacuated safely. Oh, oh, what the heck? You see his hands? Oh, my sweet boy. Okay, serious business. <laughs> so before Katrina, all 120 residents were evacuated safely, but unfortunately, due to damage from the storm, they could not return. In 2009, John Key and Burns architects were contracted with designing restoration plans for the building. And in 2010, the contract was extended to also include supervision of the construction, but the city of New Orleans ultimately abandoned this project. So in 2016, the city successfully appealed to FEMA to get them to mothball the property, which is basically preserving a building for future use. So FEMA agreed to fund the removal of lead paint mold and asbestos, debris and non-historic building materials, and installing security measures. However, despite this, the project clearly has not begun with no future commencement date. On June 6, 2019, the property was rezoned from a neighborhood open space district to a multifamily residential district, which basically just puts up less barriers for developers. In the most recent news, on March 5th, 2021, the city of New Orleans announced it would be accepting bids from those interested in renovating and leasing the historic building. The only requirement is that it must remain what would be considered a modern day almshouse, which could be something like elderly housing, affordable residential housing, mixed use housing, 
housing, etc. That's all I have for you in terms of history. Definitely the most beautiful abandoned building we've explored. So it's a real shame that it's just sitting there to crumble. So get on it. <laughs> this is your call to action. Redevelop the Turo Shakespeare house and also smash that subscribe button. <laughs> all right, sorry for being a nerd. Let's get back into the cool part. Now, for the uninitiated, in order for our reaction in this next clip to make sense, I'm gonna have to fill you in on a little bit of Lonely Star Urbex lore, if you will. A lot of the time when Corey and I explore together, we find twisted teas, and it just kind of became a running bit on the channel. So just keep that in mind when you see the first thing that we saw when we entered this building. Oh. My. God. No. Way! Oh my god, this is where every twist of tea is born, I think. Holy shit! What does it mean? What does it mean? This stupid idea. Twisted Tower! <laughs> <laughs> also, big shout out to my wonderful, amazing, incredible friend Jenny for this custom Lonely Star Urbex Twisted Tea. Life truly does imitate art. Okay, moving on. Oh boy. Well, this doesn't look too good. <laughs> oh, oh, be careful. Well, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to get up there now. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh no. Yeah, really. What have I gotten myself into? Why did I do this? If I slide down and die. <laughs> hmm, we can take the stairs. Or we can take the slide. <laughs> you found a glory hole? It's an official one. <gasps> oh my god! After you? She put the camera down there. It's not a very good flash, you can't really see. What if something just grabbed my hand? That's their phone though. That's true. They earned it. Oh my God, we're in the trap house. Oh my goodness, look at the ceiling. It's so beautiful. I mean, this room's cool and all, but is there any twisted towers? Did you already um, kill people? I you did? Shit. You burnt shit? Okay, well, I burnt shit too. I thought you were gonna kill people. No, I fucked school. You fucked school? Oh, okay. Oh my god! It's Mardi Gras! Woo! <laughs> I found some beads. Where did you go?
Oh, look how beautiful it looks. Wow. Corey, do you like my Mardi Gras beads? Yes. They're really good, right? They match yeah, yeah. my outfit. Oh my God, it's Twisted Tower. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you. Me too. The war on cum. Yeah, it's a good political litmus test. <laughs> Where you stand on the war on cum. What? 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 What is this? Oh my god. You just broke the curse. I like this little <laughs> lean-to we've constructed. Oh, we're on this window. Okay. We're going to get our free drugs. No, they have drugs. They don't have cigarettes. They have drugs. Oh, here's some stairs. They were over here somewhere. We have looped back around. There they are. We've made it to the courtyard. Oh my goodness. Let's go in here. Oh, score. Oh, it doesn't come with the guitar. Look at these fountains, they're so pretty. Oh, what is this room? Whoa. Hello? Oh, it's your mom. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello? Who is it? To my mom, yeah. she told me to get a job. What is this? <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Look at this chair. It's very ominous. Oh, is this more stacks of whatever these are? What are these? This is how they felt like in Pompeii, <laughs> I'm sure. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. A 
trekking through the jungle. Oh my God. See, this is where we were earlier because we came up through that. <laughs> We're getting around to where we were. What is this? Is this a freezer? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the kitchen. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Let's go around the front. Here's the front entrance. So pretty. This concludes the Toro Shakespeare home vlog. Everybody follow Corey on everything. Yes, Corey on Instagram. Don't trust Corey on TikTok. And I will second that. You definitely shouldn't trust him. Okay, hi, it's me again. Before we close out the vlog, another explanation for why I didn't post a video for a month. Shut up, I actually did have a valid excuse this time. I got my wisdom teeth out. That's what those pills are for. They're ibuprofen. I don't have a problem. They took my wisdom, so that's a problem. And I forgot to film this part before I got them out. So I had to wait for my face to go down. I looked really good. Insert photos here. Also, past Taxi doing the outro, totally forgot to plug the Urbex Instagram like a fool. So, also insert photos here. Boom, boom. Fuck you editing Taxi. I'm annoying. What are you gonna do about it? I think that's all I wanted to say. You know, make more excuses. <laughs> okay, so I lied. One more thing. Clearly, once again, I did not get any drone footage. So I'll be linking another Nola Deej video that has some really good drone shots at the beginning so y'all aren't missing out. Also, go ahead and subscribe to him while you're over there. What are you doing? Okay, back to past Taxi. Everybody smash like, everybody turn on post notifications, everybody comment how much you love us, and also send us a million dollars. Okay, bye, love you.